can really sets it off. Look at that spoiler, you probably got so much traction from that. Dude, that's probably enough downforce for how much horsepower his uh, Saturn has. Wow. <laughs> Special treat here, we got a McMustang. Ronald McMustang right here, guys. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> what is this? He's got wing? dual Cobra symbols there. Look at the Cobra on the... <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! What are you doing? So we're here at Quickwee's, it's regular meat. We got what appears to be E46 M3. If you look here, you'll see it has an intercooler. Um, I just talked to him. He told me it has a K&N supercharger. And when I asked him how many pounds of boost, he said 400. And I double checked, I said, wait, you have a K&N supercharger running 400 pounds of boost? And he hey, said yes. Hey, is it connected? So you can see the intercoolers right here, but if you take a peek, you can see it's actually not hooked up to anything at all. You can see under the hood, too. Oh. So what do you think about him's driving? His driving? Yeah. Oh, fucking spectacular. I'm a drifter. It was awesome. So. You're a drifter? Yes. Amazing. On a snow? 93, 3000 GT twin turbo oh, VR4 no, no, swap. I, I was in California. Is that what you drove? It was his that I got to drive for a while. So where'd you drift at? <laughs> Back streets? Um, <laughs> Back roads? Everywhere. I played the fifth. <laughs> How much did your 3000 GT weigh? 93, 3000 GT, base, converted to front wheel drive twin turbo, with a full tank of gas, full interior, and myself, 3245. Okay, so you converted to front wheel drive. No, no, no. It was originally front-wheel drive. The 3000, the 3000 GT, GT, the base model, was front-wheel drive. That was I converted the, it to a twin turbo. That was your VR4 swap, wasn't it? Anybody know whose car this is? Me. Is this yours? Yeah. Damn, looks pretty nice. You do all the body work yourself? So, uh, what do you got done for uh, engine mods? Pull their take. Yeah, this well, thing's... Uh, unique edge, they're getting me a performance chip for it. Oh, yeah? Which will get rid of my governors. And then, oh, okay. Uh, then I won't have a rev limiter anymore or anything. A rev limiter? Yeah, you don't need that. Yeah. I found a supercharger for it, but Unique Edge says that will rob my uh, performance. Really? Superchargers take away horsepower. <laughs> the only time that a supercharger will get good is if you're going over 100 miles an hour. 
that's, that's, when tur- that's when superchargers are the best. I noticed you got a blue turbo right there. Well, that's new. That's new turbo. What, is, what are you running, about 22 PSI? No, that? it's. I've got it tuned down to like 35. Tuned down. It usually runs out about 45. Uh, well, I talked to Honda. I told you I got the VTEC in it, didn't I? Oh, no. No, you didn't tell me that. I got the VTEC. I called up Honda when I was buying a car. I got SVT to, uh, I got the SVT rev the Honda rev together. And I said, hey, man, I like a VTEC in my car. So what they did is uh, the Honda rev, the SVT rev, they agreed on a price, and I'm not allowed to disclose the price. And, and they came by, they sent me the car, it's got the VTEC on it, and it had like 280 horsepower, you know, at the wheels. Jeez. Yeah, you have no idea, man. What, what, what the hell is VTEC anyway? It's a, it's very tall engine coolant. It's the oh. stuff right around here. Oh.